For this activity, I want you to open up a new document. I want it 8.5 by 11 inches. Make sure it's uh, print resolution, so 300 ppi. Press OK. Then create two circles with no fill. And we'll blend those. Object, blend, make. Object, blend, blend options. And just increase that with the preview on. Go ahead and get out your stroke width tool, Shift W. And adjust different parts of these so they kind of do something along those lines. Okay, then you're going to grab this whole thing and you're going to copy it to your clipboard, Command C. Command Tab will bring up um, other programs. And so let's go in Photoshop, New Document. We will go US Paper. Okay, 8.5 by 11, 300 dpi. Okay, and then press Command V. And this is where it's really important. Make sure that Add to My Current Library is not checked. Okay, and we are going to create a smart object. So you press OK. And then you can resize it. Well, I'm holding Shift and Alt, so it resizes from the center. Okay, and then I press OK. Okay, um, or Return. Now, I'm going to go to Google Images. And I'm going to search for Sunset. Under Search Tools right here, I'm going to change it so it's labeled for reuse with modification. That will give me the license rights to be able to use this. And I'm just going to choose one of these. It doesn't really matter which one you choose at this point. So I'm going to grab this one, View Image, Copy Image, Paste, make it bigger. Okay, and then this is where I'm going to actually put it back on top. If you hold Alt, it changes your icon to be that little box with the arrow. And then when you click in between a layer, it will apply that to only where there are pixels or where there is something. So now what I can do is I can double click on this and it will bring up Vector Smart Object and I can make changes to this. So I can come in here and I can say I actually want this to be a weird shape. And then when I press Command S to save, Command Tab to go back, it will update that shape and continue to apply this. Okay, so after you have something along these lines, I want you to kind of move that up to the top. Make sure you're selected on the vector object. Move that up to the top. I'm going to grab both of them. There we go. Okay, move it up to the top. Then I want you to take a screenshot of your Layers panel open so that I can see that you're using a vector smart object correctly. And you're going to paste that in. Make it bigger. Command T to transform. Okay, and then you will save this as a PDF. File, save as. Choose PDF, Photoshop PDF, as a copy without layers. And then you will name it first name, last name, activity, and week number. And go ahead and submit that as your activity.